A real challenge online is how to think about um, your, your key performance indicators, um, so-called KPIs, what to track, how often to track it, what success looks like. And a good example of this was a, a retail CEO um, asked me recently, he said, Michael, you know, what is a good online conversion rate? To which I answered, it's simply not a good question. The challenge online really is that there's just such an overwhelming amount of data. Often I meet retailers who have 50 KPIs and to have 50 key performance indicators is, a, is an oxymoron. The challenge online is to distill online down to really it, it's, its core essence. The other challenge I have is that a lot of online retailers look to web analytics for their source of KPIs. And the challenge of web analytics, really, is it tells you what's going on on the website, but it tells you nothing about online profitability. So my, my challenge and, 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 and where I ask online retailers to focus is on actually coming up with a set of KPIs that really give them a holistic view of the overall performance of their business. My contention is that there are five fundamental e-commerce KPIs that should apply to all retailers in all categories in all geographies. These five KPIs are as follows. Number one is sessions. How many sessions, visits are you driving to your website? For a traditional retailer, it's the same as footfall. The second KPI is profit per session. Again, for a traditional retailer, that would be something more akin to profit per square foot or profit per linear foot. And profit per session is really about understanding how much is it costing you to drive traffic to your website and how much money are you making from each visitor that arrives at your website. And it forces a retailer to the make the right trade-offs between marketing spend, pricing, promotions, discounts and delivery charges. The third metric is loss demand. It's one thing to measure what you're actually selling. It's another thing to measure what you could have sold if you had perfect availability and to understand the extent to which your site's availability is holding back your demand. The fourth metric is contribution over inventory, a kind of return on capital measure. It's about how efficiently are you managing your inventory? Um, do you, are you selling everything you could be selling? Do you have product in your warehouse that isn't on sale? And essentially managing your, your, your inventory in a, in, in a very economically efficient manner. And the fifth metric, last but certainly not least, is customer satisfaction. Clearly in an online environment, there is a, a, a time between the transaction and customers actually receiving their products. And therefore delivering a great customer service experience, a great fulfillment experience is fundamental to overall success. So those are my five KPIs. Um, I would encourage every online retailer in the world to track them.